Uh, to each of our witnesses. Metro like leaders Mr. grilled about recent today, safety issues, funding challenges, and looming discussion. ridership troubles. Some lawmakers saying the transit agency has a huge uphill battle ahead and it should no longer be given special treatment as, quote, America's subway system. Well, there are far too many instances of waste, fraud, abuse, mismanagement with the Washington Metro system. Now about the troubled 7,000 series rail cars, we learned that Metro's mechanical department was treating defective wheel problems as a warranty issue and simply sending the wheels back to the manufacturer, Kawasaki, even though the problem persisted. That was going on for several years? Uh, yes, sir. I mean, that's like if I've got, you know, uh, an oven that's not working and is a fire danger for the house and I just report it to the oven manufacturer and start writing them and I don't tell anybody in the house that the oven is a danger. Metro GM Paul Wiedefeld was asked bluntly whether the 7,000 series rail cars will ever come back. At this time, um, is your assertion that these rail cars are not defective? Um, at this time, we again, we have to wait till this investigation is completed and we will oh, determine. Uh, Mr. Wied Mr. Um, Wiedefeld, I, I want to be clear. You don't have to wait till the investigation is clear. You may be choosing to do that, but when something, when something breaks, when something goes down, you can decide that you don't want to take that risk again as a matter of operational excellence, as a matter of commitment to passenger safety. Still no smoking gun as to if there was a potential cover up with the 7000 series and there's still no timeline to get them back on the tracks, which means riders will continue to face delays on the rails. Adam Tuss, News 4.